Hey everybody, Steve here at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in the city of Covina. This is Forest Lawn Memorial Park in the Covina Hills. Covina is a suburb of Los Angeles. It's about half hour to 45 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles, depending on traffic. And I'm here this morning waiting for the gates to open. So while I'm waiting, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the person that I'm here to visit today. Who remembers Mr. Doobie and Mr. Don't Be? Today I really had to take the Wayback Machine way back to the 1950s when I was just a preschooler watching Romper Room. I'm guessing quite a few of you were also probably watching Romper Room around the same time. Now, Romper Room did air from 1953 to 1994. So whatever the generation that came after the baby boomers, maybe a couple of generations, I don't know. Some of you were probably watching as well. When I think back on all the childhood TV shows that I watched back then, Romper Room is very high on the list. Although I was so young, I don't remember a lot about it, but I do remember Mr. Doobie and Mr. Don't Be and the Magic Mirror. Remember how back then, when we were growing up, children's TV shows focused a lot on teaching us how to behave properly? We could definitely use some of those TV shows right now to teach adults how to behave properly, right? I mean, in 2022, I think a lot of people weren't paying attention to Mr. Doobie and Mr. Dompey. Mr. Doobie was a bumblebee and the show's mascot, and he would tell us kids what to do to be a good kid, to behave. So do be this and do be that would be if you were a good kid, and, and don't be this and don't be that and don't do this. That was Mr. Don't be. <laughs> Definitely a, a simpler time. The show was nationally syndicated and it was also franchised and apparently I didn't know until doing a little bit of research before coming here today. Romper Room was a TV show that aired all over the world in various countries all over the world as well as here in the U.S. So nationally it was syndicated here in the U.S. but then I guess certain larger cities could franchise it and have their own local version which is what we had here in Los Angeles. I guess it originated in Baltimore, but I grew up here in Los Angeles, and so our version was hosted by the person that I'm here to visit today. Now, she was the host from 1966 to 1976, long after I was a preschooler, so I don't know who the host was. I don't remember who the host was when I was growing up, but I'm sure all of you who watched in the 1960s and 70s remember Mary Ann King. She's laid to rest right here in front of the chapel. She died on June 16, 2016, at the age of 82 in Chino Hills, California. Chino Hills is not far from here, just a little bit further east. So you may remember, I mean, if you have a really good memory, that at the end of every show, Marianne King, the host of the show, would hold up a magic mirror and look into the mirror toward the TV audience and mention the names of some of the kids watching. So apparently the parents would send in the kids' names and through the magic of the magic mirror, Marianne would know they were watching and would say hello and call out their names on TV. She had to recite this little incantation to make the magic happen. It went, romper, bomper, stomper, boo, Tell me, tell me, tell me do. Magic mirror, tell me today. Did all my friends have fun at play? I kind of remember that, do you? <laughs> it's funny the things you can remember decades and decades later. And here's something kind of sad and ironic. Later in life, Marianne, who was a very, very trusting person, she grew up in a generation where you could really trust people, unlike today, <laughs> and being such a trusting person, apparently she was taken advantage of a number of times in her old age. And sadly, she was even mugged. And since so she always carried around the magic mirror with her in case she ran into fans of the show, she would hold up the mirror and give them a little shout out. And it kind of made everybody's day, including hers. Well, she had the mirror in her purse when she was mugged and lost her magic mirror. So how crazy is that, that someone mugs the former host of the Romper Room show, who spent more than a decade of her life trying to help kids grow up to be good people. She gets mugged by somebody years after she's off the show, and they steal her magic mirror. So let me know in the comments section if you remember the Romper Room TV show and what city you watched in and who the host was. Was Marianne King the host of the show that you watched? And if you can remember who the host was here in Los Angeles back in the 1950s, late 1950s, when I was a preschooler, let me know. I'd be curious. And I wasn't able to find out online, so I'm sure somebody must know. It'd be fun to know. This week, I want to give a shout out and a very big thank you to my newest Patreon supporters, Angela Matthew, James Ayala, Brandy Nicole Morrison, 
and Julie Thornburn. Thank you all very much for your very generous donations to my channel. They mean a lot and are very appreciated. As always, thanks for joining me today on another trip to the cemetery. And until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.